Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am here with a dumpster dump, dumpster dump, a dumpster dive haul that I did last night. Down there, that's Danny Lynn. She's waiting for her sleeping place against that pillow. So let's get with it. First of all, this is all the shipping supplies that I got out of dumpsters, various dumpsters. And then I wanna add this to it. These came from here. They're little poly bags. So let's get with it. First I went here. I got two bags of Iceberg Garden and a bag of kale greens. Then I went to this, um, this um, clothing store and I got all these clothes. I got more clothes, but my daughter went through them and took what she wanted. I got a couple sweatshirts. I got some t-shirts. I got this flan this fuzzy um, shirt for sleeping in. And then I went here. I got a box of these bags plus all these bags. There were thousands more that I could have gotten. I mean, they literally filled the dumpster with probably everything they had in the store of these bags. These bags, they were all over the place. The boxes were all over the place. I couldn't save them all from the landfill because number one, some of them were too hard to get. Number two, what the heck am I going to do with them? These I thought I'd use for shipping and my eBay stuff. I bet I got well. You can see in the box, there's like probably a thousand in the box. So we'll go on from there. Also at that store, I got these two hand creams, not this. I got this come on, solid perfume. I got this man's deodorizing body spray. I guess you men need deodorizing body spray. And I got these three. This, this one is a fall collection. This one is two. I think this one here might be a fall collection too, but I'm not sure. I got three candles. First of all, I got this one. It's tight. Its name is Leaves. Um, the thing is broken. It's gonna go in the refrigerator. My granddaughter's coming over this weekend. We're gonna repour um, candles, which I'm gonna do a video on so that you can see how we do it and maybe do it yourself. This one here is perfectly fine. It's called Vanilla Sage. It's part of their White Barn line. This one here, as you can see, is all, kind, all kinds of torn up. And it's called Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. I think I have a big one of these waiting to be report. That one will be put in the freezer and report. Of course, I always collect any lids that I find because sometimes you find these without lids or these without lids because they kind of like to unscrew things. Then I went to, oops, then I went to a dollar store and there I found these Pop-Tarts and they are Pop-Tarts, um, the S'mores brand. The box was wet because it had rained a little so I got rid of the box and took the S'mores. Then I found this Hershey Swiss Rolls by Miss Freshly. The only one I could find. The dumpster had been emptied that day. I found this Extreme Happiness um, Eau de Toilette Spray. On the, the box of it was wet. Wasn't anything wrong. And it is their scent of Euphoria by Calvin Klein. And I love Euphoria. So I grabbed that. 
I also bought a can of shaving, I uh, bought, I found a can of shaving cream, and I found these two, one earbuds, and one what they call earphones, which are earbuds. So that is my dumpster dive haul. I haven't been dumpster diving, and let me tell you why. This store right here, they close at nine o'clock on Saturday. So one Saturday night I was there at 10.30 and I was dumpster diving and two people from the store come out to throw things away and there was a ton of stuff in the dumpster. This is where I get busted. And I just keep on pulling things out of the dumpster and talking to them. And the girl's like, well, you're trespassing, blah, 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 blah. You're not trespassing when you dumpster dive. Dumpster diving is illegal. I mean, is not illegal. Um, you can read the state, the Supreme Court decision, State of California versus Greenwood, which goes into detail about trash and going through trash. Now, states cannot outlaw getting into someone's trash. Municipalities can, but at this, if they do this at the same time, they're outlawing their police going into somebody's trash. So, around here, dumpster diving is not illegal. I've checked every municipality. So, I was kind to them. I wasn't mean, I wasn't nice. They didn't ask me to leave. So I go on, I thought, well, I better leave because she wasn't really the nicest person until, and I'll get into that. So we went, we, I went ahead and got in my car and left the other stuff and I went around and I thought, well, I'll go around here and wait until they leave and I'll watch and see when they leave. So I was parked pretty far away and I had bought a cheeseburger. So I was eating my cheeseburger and I saw the police come in. So I thought, uh-oh, maybe I better leave because the police can't do anything to you, but I just don't want the hassle. So I start to leave and just as I'm starting to get on the interstate, I get pulled over. And the guy, you know, he's like, well, you know, you got a loud muffler. Now, mind you, my son-in-law's car used to be a race car, and he has a loud muffler system on it for that reason. And he's never calmed it down, but the decimals are within legal limits. And I'm like, yeah, and he said, well, can I see your insurance, your blah, 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 and I gave it to him. So meanwhile, I have the sunroof open because it's a nice day, night. It's 10 something at night. It's after 10.30 at night. And so this other cop comes in and shines his, his light in the sunroof and he wants to fight about going through someone's trash. He thinks it's wrong. He thinks I should be arrested, blah, blah, blah. So the cop comes back and he asked me, he said, did you just have a birthday? And I'm like, yes. And he said, well, your license is expired. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Well, I knew this. It was just like two or three days. My birthday, I think was on Tuesday and this was Saturday. And um, so I said, well, I will get that done first thing Monday morning. And he said, well, I'm just giving you a verbal warning on your license. I'm giving you a written warning on your muffler. And I said, okay. So then this young guy continues on with the trash stuff. And he was a young guy. He was in his 20s, probably new. And the other guy, the nice one, he, you know, and I just kept 
first, let me see. I just kept on telling this young guy, I'm not arguing this with you. I'm not arguing this with you. I'm not arguing this with you. And so the nice guy, the nice cop said to the young cop, she can go through somebody's trash if she wants to. It's not illegal. So get in the cruiser. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Oh, here comes my cat. I guess she wants some attention. Anyway, so after that, I thought, well, I'll just lay off for a couple weeks, and I did. So that's why there hasn't been any dumpster diving hauls, because my cats like to go through them. <laughs> but I just thought, well, I'll take it easy. But I, I thought, I wanted to go dumpster diving this past weekend, and I thought, well, those cops might be looking for me on the weekend, so I'll sneak in on a Monday. And I did, because my son-in-law hasn't done anything about the muffler system yet. So, this is it. This is my haul. I got a lot of kale to eat, and I really don't like kale. And I got all these bags. So, everybody, be kind to people, love your life, and try to stay out of jail like I did. Bye.